Nagaya Susan, Nagaya Gurinji Wawunga, Gumida Bianga, Gumida Wayangra, Matamarong Tianika Aniga, Matamarong Bialia, Gumarigal Guri Pemel. Hello and welcome. My name is Susan. I'm Gurinji Wawunga. I come from the Northern Territory. I asked to speak to the male spirits, I asked to speak to the female spirits to be able to walk and talk on the land of the Gamarigal people. This is Gamarigal land, this is matriarchal land, this is land of women. Thank you for joining us today. As you know, today marks 50 years since HMAS Platypus first began to operate. We at the Harbour Trust are honoured to be able to steward HMAS Platypus, Camaragal country, a gas works, and of course a site of innovation as a naval torpedo factory and submarine base. Today is an important step in this work, a time to pay tribute to the submariners who served and gained a reputation as amongst the world's finest and those who gave the greatest sacrifice. I was fortunate enough to spend the best part of two decades serving in submarines operating out of Platypus. Platypus was our home, a place synonymous with submariners. The building that used to be behind me was both our place of work and of recreation sometimes perhaps too much of the latter. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, also acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects uh, to their elders past and present. And thanks Susan very much uh, for her welcome here today, her welcome to country, her acknowledgement of country and her delightful story about the platypus. Thank you uh, very much. To the very many former serving members of the ADF and current serving members, welcome and thank you for your service. It was indeed 50 years ago today that HMAS Platypus was commissioned as Australia's new submarine support facility and HMAS Oxley, Australia's first submarine for 36 years, arrived in Sydney. That is one of the reasons why I am very proud therefore to be here today, to remember, to acknowledge and to celebrate the contribution made by submariners, by sub submarines, by all of the supporters of that process to the history, to the defence of our nation. Vice Admiral McDougall. At the end of World War II, in the beginning of the Cold War, our government and that of New Zealand recognised the need for continuing anti-submarine warfare training for our navies and our air forces. The Soviets had a large and increasing arsenal of submarines, many of which came to have intercontinental missile capabilities. A deal was struck with Britain to base a couple of submarines at Balmoral in Sydney. The cost to be shared by the two governments was 15,000 pounds per annum, in today's dollars, about 600,000. About 300 in batches of about 30 officers and sailors were dispatched to the United Kingdom, many of whom served in Royal Navy boats, often of classes from World War II, for up to four years. Living conditions were Spartan, not luxurious, Minister. After a long patrol, say 70 days, or a six month deployment to distant regions, sleeping bags were disposed of by incineration. Some who returned to their homes clutching an evil smelling laundry bag were reputed to have been hosed down by their wives on the front lawn before they were allowed to enter their homes. Over 50 years ago, Commander Cook applied considerable skill in bringing our urbans to fruition. So too has Chris with today's commemoration. It is an important contribution to our history. Thank you. We have come here today to give thanks to Almighty God for the 50th anniversary of the commissioning of HMAS Platypus and to bless this memorial to the memory of those who served and died in the service of their country in the submarine service. 
We remember especially the sailors who died while serving here. Able Seaman Christopher Paslow, Able Seaman Hugh Macro, and Seaman Damien Humphreys. On this day, during this time of Australia Remembers, we also honour and remember the lives lost on AE1 and those who died and who were prisoners of war after the sinking of AE2. Searching for the best in me, I will find what I can be if I will lose or draw. There's a victory for all. the goal for every man. 